And that's the kind of thing that happens when you get anywhere from three to five inches of rain in a 48 hour period, which is what has happened to us. And we've still got another inch to two possibly to go before it all wraps up late in the day tomorrow. Today, we didn't go anywhere temperature wise. Look how narrow the range was from 60 for the high to 56 for the low. That does put us nine degrees below the averages of 77 and 57. And right now we're sitting on that high for the day, 60 degrees such as it is. With rain coming down, what else is new? 86% the humidity level and the winds out of the east at 14 miles per hour. Temperatures around the region almost all in the 50s. As you can see, the lone exception is Pittsburgh International at 60 degrees. The cool spot on the other end, Somerset at 52, and everybody else is in between. But we're all getting wet. No matter what your temperature is at the moment, it is raining wherever you are. There's one gap, one hole right here in eastern Monongalia and southwesternmost uh, Garrett County, Maryland. Monongalia, West Virginia, Garrett County, Maryland. That's about it. That's the only part of the viewing area that right now is not getting soaked. Now, there are varying levels or degrees rather of rainfall at the moment. And as we look up a little further north along the I-80 corridor, you can see where the heaviest rain is located at this moment. But there are some spots of yellow showing up now in Monongalia County near Morgantown and also right there in Greene County near Waynesburg. So be prepared if you're out and about driving around. These are the areas where you'll see the heaviest rain. The rest of us, it's just a spotty drizzle for the most part. As we zoom in, you can see almost all of Allegheny County is the lightest color of green, and that is just drizzle. But <laughs> the damage has already been done, as I've been saying, for several days now. And it will continue to rain on us tonight. Tomorrow, there'll be moderate showers moving through tonight and early tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, things will wrap up and calm down considerably. And Tuesday, no rain. Not a great looking day, but at least it'll be a dry one. In terms of dry, <laughs> there's not much of that between now and tomorrow night at 1130. The next 24 hours, we could see another inch to possibly as much as two inches. I think those of you over two are a little overstated. The two and three quarters in Indiana and the two and a half out in Cambria County probably won't get that much, but you could see an inch and a half to two before things wrap up late tomorrow night and on into early Tuesday. Rain showers and cool temps tonight, 57 degrees. More rain around tomorrow, not as heavy as today, and they will be more scattered. There'll be open areas of dry conditions periodically spaced around the area, but there'll nevertheless be rain with us right through the day. And then we calm down on Tuesday and Wednesday, two dry days in a row. We need them desperately. We warm up into the 80s on Thursday with a couple of spotty showers around, and then we stay dry and in the low 80s right through the weekend. Paul?